The Varroa destructor mite has devastated honeybee colonies wherever it is spread around the world. While Australia is currently free from Varroa, it is a major threat that is likely to enter and become established here at some stage in the future. Even though we don't have Varroa, it's useful for you to know what chemicals are available for use in an emergency response and possibly later if you ever need to manage Varroa yourself. There are a number of chemicals that are permitted to be used in Australia, but only in an emergency response, such as when Varroa first arrives. These chemicals will not be immediately available for use by the general public. If Varroa establishes in Australia, further approvals from the regulatory authority will be required for members of the public to be allowed to use these chemicals. There are some chemicals that are used on Varroa overseas that will never be registered or allowed to be used in Australia because of concerns about usefulness and their effect on bee and human health. People around the world have been using chemicals to try and control Varroa for years, causing it to become partly and sometimes fully resistant to treatments. If Varroa arrives in Australia, it will be the last major beekeeping country to get the mite. In the event of an incursion, we will have to test the strain of Varroa that enters the country for its resistance to chemicals. This means that the actual chemicals that will be available for use in Australia will depend on where the mite arrives from and which chemicals the mites are resistant to. A variety of chemicals have been used overseas to control Varroa in honeybee colonies. Currently, the products Apistan, Bavarol, Apigard and Mitaway Quickstrips are permitted for use in an emergency response if Varroa is found in Australia. No matter which of these chemicals are used, safety and use instructions on the label need to be followed. Worldwide, Apistan is probably the most commonly used product to control Varroa. It's very easy to use and very effective unless the Varroa is resistant. The strips are hung between the combs on the central brood chamber. The bees rub against the strips as they move through the brood chamber, transferring the active ingredient to other bees through social interaction killing the mites on contact. Bavarol strips are another common and easy to use product with a similar mode of action to Apistan to control Varroa overseas. The strips are hung between the combs in the centre of the brood chamber. The bees pick up the active ingredient when they walk over the strips and distribute the compound between themselves. When the mites feed on the bees' haemolymph, they ingest the ingredient and die. Apigard contains a gel formulation that is easy to apply and controls the release of vapours. The concentrated vapour release from Apigard is no risk to honeybees, but is toxic to mites. Bees pick up the gel on their body and move it around the hive, helping to disperse it. It should not be used on hives with high Varroa levels, as it may not kill the mite fast enough to prevent colony collapse. The product works best between 20 and 25 degrees. Mitaway quick strips also release vapours from gel strips. The liquid vaporises and disperses throughout the hive and penetrates into the sealed cells and kills the mites inside. This chemical treatment protects both the adult bees and developing brood. Temperatures below 15 degrees could result in lower concentrations of the active ingredient and may not be as effective on the mites. On the other hand, temperatures above 29 degrees can cause queen loss, so these strips might not be suitable for use in some parts of Australia, depending on the season. Some brood and bee mortality may occur at the start of the treatment, and all colonies in the apiary should be treated at the same time. Because of Australia's climate, many parts of the country do not have a time in winter when the hive is free from brood. If there is no brood, all of the mites attach to the adult bees instead, where they are susceptible to the chemical treatment. The only product that diffuses through the cells and kills mites in the brood and on adult bees is Mite Away Quick Strips. It is important to have a range of treatments available with different modes of action to help prevent resistance arising in the Varroa population and to look into other chemicals that can be used for its control. Ultimately, the chemicals that will be available for use in Australia will depend on the sensitivity of the particular strain of Varroa that enters the country. All chemical use permits will need to be approved by the Australian Pesticide and Veterinary Medicines Authority. If you see anything unusual on your bees, call the Exotic Plant Pest Hotline on 1800 084 881. For more information about bee biosecurity, go to the Be Aware website 
at www.beaware.org.au.